This is the most overpowered blitz and base defense to use in Madden 24. Got him. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. It gets interceptions all game. So if you want to see what overpowered new defense I'm using in results like this, stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The place from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top hand comment. I've heard you guys request for a long time to use a new team other than my favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Either to use your favorite teams you guys requested, or from doubters who think that my stuff only works because I'm using one of the best teams in the game. So I'm going to go from one of the best teams to one of the worst teams in the New York Giants for a few reasons. Number one, because it was easily the most requested, probably because I'm close to the New York area. Number two is because I actually wanted to use him when they traded for Darren Waller in the offseason as he is one of the best tight ends in the game. And number three, I really don't believe that there is such thing as a bad team in Madden because overall ratings really don't matter that much. Only speed matters. And the Giants have a lot of team speed in the right places to be a very good team in Madden. Now there might not be bad teams, but there are definitely bad quarterbacks that can ruin teams as Daniel Jones just has awful accuracy moments, especially in critical moments and when passing to the outside. But luckily the focal point of the offense I'm going to use is going to be Saquon Barkley, who is an absolute cheat code. They have a lot of team speed at receiver as well with Darius Slayton, Paris Campbell, and Jalen Hyde all above 93 as my top three receivers. But they also have a lot of team speed on defense since that is what today's video is going to be about. Starting at linebacker with Isaiah Simmons who is a 6 foot 4 monster with 93 speed and is probably one of the best players in the game because of it. My mutt players know what I'm talking about. Bobby Okereke also has an 89 speed and Kayvon Thibodeau also has an 88 speed coming off the edge. And the secondary has a lot of speed at cornerback also with Adore Jackson, Deontay Banks, and Aaron Robinson and all having 93 speed or higher as my top three cornerbacks. I've already recorded several videos using this team, however, and I'm already planning on moving on to another squad. So let me know in the comments section who you guys want me to use next. And if you pick a team that has a better quarterback situation, you have a better chance of me choosing them because I need to upgrade a quarterback after using Danny Dimes. My first gameplay of today's video is going to be against a much better team of the Baltimore Ravens and on the road. But before I get into that video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button as it really helps out the video and the channel. And I really appreciate the support. The D the defense that I'll be using in today's video is once again my big nickel over G, as this formation is definitely one of the best defenses to use after the October 4th patch for run and pass defense, and I keep finding more and better ways to use this. The only real adjustment that I make in this personnel is to make sure that I have someone fast here at this safety spot, because I'll be sending him on a blitz almost half the time, so I put Aaron Robinson there since he has a 93 speed. For my coaching adjustments, the most important thing is to have your zone coverage set to match and to leave the flats and curl flats on default so that the matching principles take effect. Other than that, I also make sure to have my auto alignment to base so that all my defenses look the same before the play starts, making it harder for my opponent to make a plan before the snap. I don't have any time to set up my audible plays though as I only have 15 seconds to get all my adjustments in, so I just pick one of my favorite blitz defenses in the SS linebacker blitz. The setup for this blitz is pretty simple as all I really have to do is blitz my user, which is whoever is covering the running back, and hover the center gap pre-snap before dropping back in the coverage. If the running back goes out on a pattern, he is my responsibility, so I have to follow him, but luckily the running back runs a check and release curl route over the middle gotcha, bitch. as we drop under the deep in route and get an interception on the very first play of the game. On offense, I'm going to run my iForm Close Scheme, which is another scheme that I've already made several videos about, including a full breakdown just last week. But I'll mostly be focusing on the defense in this video, so if you guys want to see more about this offense, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. On the very first play, I decided to start with the halfback stretch run, and Saquon Barkley is just built different. As we almost take it to the house on the very first play. I know a lot of you guys were saying in the comments section that this scheme only worked in my last video because of the Eagles offensive line, but the Giants offensive line is terrible by comparison, and I feel like I'm having even more success with this scheme now. And that is because linemen don't really matter, but the running back does. As Saquon Barkley is so much better in this game compared to DeAndre Swift since he has X factors and superstar abilities. I hurry up on the next play so that he is stuck in his much smaller nickel package defense, and I run it right through this weak ass offensive line for a quick 7-0 lead. 
On the next drive, I get to actually set up my audible plays. I use the SS linebacker blitz play that I used on the first play as my favorite all-out blitz, although I have several in this formation that I like, one of which I'll show you later. My run defense and a good pass defense, depending on my opponent's offensive formation, is the cover four palms, as these safeties will typically play the run like linebackers just as long as you don't guess pass. Next is my favorite zone-based defense in the cover six trap. There are several cover six and cover nine variations in this formation, but the cover six trap is the only one that has matching principles on both sides, making this easily one of the best. And my favorite mix of zone and blitzing is the SS Blitz 3, as I will mix in all four of these plays throughout the game and more as this scheme really has closer to eight plays now. I call the cover six trap on the next play as this defense gets me more takeaways than any defense I have used all year due to the matching principles being overpowered since the latest October 4th patch. But even though cover four is much better, it still gets glitched out by a lot of certain offensive formations where there's three or even four wide receivers on one side of the field. And since this is only half cover four, it doesn't react that way at all. The weaker side of this is the cover two side, but it's still better than regular cover two because you can't split the safeties over the middle since there's a cover four safety there. But the deep safety can still be manipulated, so sometimes I put one of my linebackers into a middle third to help out, as I can use the middle of the field by myself anyway. When using this adjustment, it's usually best to have a safety in one of these linebacker spots, but these linebackers are so fast it shouldn't matter. And watch how the deep safety matches the speed out route, gotcha, bitch. as the CPU absolutely gets me with a pick six on just his second throw of the game as my opponent has already seen enough of this defense after just two plays. Two passes, two interceptions, and a pick six to end the game. See ya! My next game is against another overpowered team in the New York Jets, although this guy is making it a little bit easier by not substituting in Aaron Rodgers. Bruh. I start this game the same way by calling the SS linebacker blitz, but he actually completes a pass to his team this time. How dare you! So I know this guy's going to be much tougher competition, especially since he is running those damn RPO plays as he gets close to a first down. I expect to see an inside run the next play, so I switch to a new play in the linebacker blitz, as these two linebackers will fill the middle of the field. But he catches me while I'm making an adjustment and gets a first down in the flats before I call the blitz again, and he actually runs it this time and gets shut down. <laughs> Sit down and study! He switches to an empty backfield look on the next play, but one of the best things about this cover six trap is how confusing it is for most players. As he doesn't know what he's looking at, he just throws the ball away. Nope. If we watch the replay though, the matching principles took everything away as nothing was really open here anyways. On third and long, he's like the blitz so that the he can get to the quarterback before the receivers can even get the distance needed. But I don't want to cover the running back on this play, so I call the SS linebacker blitz. One more time, only this time I'm going to only send five. So I spread the line, use one of the blitzing linebackers and hover the gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage once again. Only this time I will have no responsibility. So I choose to start on the side that has the most receivers on it so I can cut off any routes that I see over the middle that is being their man cover as he tries to hit a slant right in front of me gotcha, bitch. and Bobby Okereke is that dude as we get our second pick of the video. You just can't beat that 89 speed. On offense, I have the exact same game plan as well since I don't want Danny Dimes doing too much. I see that I have outside leverage on the first play, so I don't make a full adjustment and I only get a few yards. Before I run the stretch play again, only this time I motion across the receiver and this blocking just hits way different as I take it almost 40 yards to the house completely untouched. Don't you Giants fans wish your team played like this in real life? Back on defense, my opponent is throwing the ball too much as he takes the check down underneath before coming out an empty backfield look once again. So I call the SS linebacker blitz one more time and make the exact same adjustments pre-snap by hovering the guard gap as this should get someone free off the other side of the line. And we do get instant pressure as he throws it to the out route that was blanketed by the safety somehow. On third and four, he catches me in the middle of another adjustment and I think that messed up the coverage as he almost gets a very big play. That was a close one but instead ends up in a fourth and four that he decides to go for. So I decide to choose another new blitz in the casino blitz, which is this defense's version of the spinner blitz, as it sends more blitzers than any other defense from this formation. So since it's doing that, it will always leave someone uncovered. So my job is to find that receiver and either cover them myself or basing line like I did here, which exposes my coverage, but also allows me to go back to covering the running back as he runs another RPO play, but decides to keep it on the ground this time. Oh no, you don't. Before we stop him short of the line again, and we get another rage quit in the fourth quarter. See ya! As that is how dominant this defense has been. So I hope you guys see that the plays and the speed of the players are what's important here, not the team itself. As we destroyed two much better teams here with what most people would agree is one of the worst teams in the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section what teams you guys want me to use going forward. Other than that, if you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses of using in today's video to get the win, I will have links of them popping up on screen now. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make sure out. For help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.